you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So Manny Pacquiao, he started the year off with a tweet to Floyd Mayweather. Or maybe I should say Manny Pacquiao's staff, they sent a tweet to Team Floyd Mayweather. Basically, the tweet read, the ball will drop at midnight to usher in 2015 at Floyd Mayweather. Let's not drop the ball on fighting each other next year. End quote. Now, these are the things that's not making sense when it comes to Team Pacquiao right now. It was only about a week or two ago that I did a video where I was giving Pacquiao credit or his team credit because I was saying, oh, look, Manny Pacquiao and Michael Kant's Manny Pacquiao's advisor, they're saying that we're willing to take whatever Floyd Mayweather is offering us just to make this fight for the fans, right? There were other people very close to Manny Pacquiao saying that we understand that Floyd Mayweather, you know, deserves the, the big share of the pie. But right after they say that, fast forward to present day, Floyd Mayweather makes an offer to Team Pacquiao. They send an offer back asking for more money. I mean, they were just saying just a couple weeks ago that they were willing to take the money that Floyd Mayweather offers. Floyd offers them money, they want more. I mean, if you listen to what Manny Pacquiao has said he was willing to do to make this fight, and if you listen to what Floyd Mayweather is saying he's willing to do to make the fight, you will notice what, what Mayweather has said, it's never changed. It has always remained the same. He's asking for the same things that he always asks for when he makes a fight. Okay, that he gets the biggest share and that he fights on Cinco de Mayo or he fights in September, right? These are things that do not change. Once again, Manny Pacquiao, he said, I'll fight you for charity, Floyd Mayweather. Let's just fight for charity. So one minute, Manny Pacquiao said, I'll fight for free, right? After he turned down $40 million that Floyd Mayweather offered him. Now Manny Pacquiao is changing everything that he said. There's only one person in negotiations right now, guys, that is changing what they said. And if you guys are reading reports from multiple websites, the majority of these websites are accusing Team Pacquiao of making negotiations very difficult right now. Is there anything you can tell me Floyd Mayweather is doing right now to make negotiations difficult. Manny Pacquiao and Team Pacquiao, they already knew what type of money that was going to be offered to them going into these negotiations, right? Because Floyd Mayweather already offered them $40 million before. So the question is, why do you have some of the most extreme bias writers like Dan Raphael all of a sudden trying to do his damnness? to convince fans that Floyd Mayweather is screwing up the negotiations. He's trying to do everything he possibly can to not make this fight. But Dan Raphael, he makes sure he puts no blame on Bob Arum when Bob Arum, a Jewish guy, all of a sudden has a problem with Floyd Mayweather fighting on a Mexican holiday that Floyd has been fighting on for the last five to six years. Why no blame? towards Bob Arum, Dan. What about Manny Pacquiao's lawyer and one of his closest friends who just came out and did an interview and he's basically blaming this on Bob Arum. Even Team Pacquiao is blaming this on Bob Arum. One of Manny Pacquiao's closest friends who's been down with him since day one, he just did an interview and he said, Bob Arum needs to step aside and allow these guys to fight. He needs to get out of the way for the sport of boxing. Please, Bob Arum. This guy was urging Bob Arum to move out of the way so that this fight can come to fruition. Okay? These are people inside of Manny Pacquiao's camp. 
inside of his team that are blaming negotiations possibly falling apart on Manny Pacquiao's own promoter. Dan Raphael, how do you explain that? But you want to make sure you don't blame Manny Pacquiao or Team Pacquiao on negotiations not going so smooth, right? Not going so well. Even when Manny Pacquiao changes what he says on a bi-weekly basis, you still want to blame it all on Floyd Mayweather? Explain that to me. How does this make any sense, guys? How does it make any sense? Another thing I don't understand when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, and this is not to suggest that Manny Pacquiao doesn't want to fight Floyd Mayweather, because I believe they both want the fight, okay? But my thing is, if Manny Pacquiao is going to go to his Twitter account and call out Floyd Mayweather, why don't you also send a tweet to Bob Arum and say, Bob Arum, make the fight no matter what. Or take some step aside money and allow me and Mayweather to make the biggest fight that can ever be made. Why doesn't Manny Pacquiao do that? I mean, Manny Pacquiao's lawyer did it. Floyd Mayweather is the one that's saying, let's make the fight. Floyd Mayweather is the one that called out Manny Pacquiao before. Called him out and said, I'll give you $40 million. How come Dan Raphael didn't say Manny Pacquiao, he had his opportunity and he passed up? Manny Pacquiao took $12 million to fight Tim Bradley when he could have made $40 million against Floyd. How come he didn't write an article like that? Because this shit ain't about telling the truth for Dan Raphael. This is about telling people, I can't stand this bastard Floyd Mayweather. These coincidental bastards, I can't stand them. That's what Dan Raphael is saying. I mean, the majority of articles that I have read recently, they completely conflict Dan Raphael's accounts of what's going on. According to Dan Raphael, he said, oh, Floyd is just trying to make it difficult. Floyd is doing this. Why would Floyd do that? I mean, what's so funny about this is when you see people like Dan Raphael trying to desperately point the finger at Floyd Mayweather, the facts and the evidence all point towards Manny Pacquiao's team. I interviewed Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach said out of his own damn mouth, I believe Bob Arum has been trying to hold this fight up because he wants this fight to be Manny Pacquiao's last fight. Okay? So now we have Manny Pacquiao's close friend and lawyer. We have Freddie Roach's close friend and trainer. And there's a lot of articles on different websites right now that are suggesting it is up to Bob Arum and Michael Kantz right now. They are the ones that are going to decide if this fight gets made or not. That's what it really comes down to, okay? Matter of fact, let me read just a little clip from this uh, article that Chris Williams wrote on BoxingNews24.com. This was in response to Manny Pacquiao sending a tweet to Floyd Mayweather basically calling him out. Quote, It's anyone's guess whether the fight can get made. If Pacquiao's management of Bob Arum and Michael Kantz overplay their hand by asking for too much money, of a purse split, then the fight likely won't get made. You can bet that Mayweather has a figure in his mind that he feels that Pacquiao is worth in a fight against him. And if Aram and Kantz go above that figure, then there won't be a fight. End quote. Listen, let's play trading places and reverse the roles. Let's say Manny Pacquiao is pound for pound the best fighter in the world today. He's undefeated. He's considered the best fighter of this era. Trainers like Nacho Berestein and Canelo Alvarez's trainers, they're all saying that Manny Pacquiao is the Michael Jordan of the sport. Let's say I'm even saying Manny Pacquiao is the Michael Jordan of the sport, right? Because we're treating him as if he were Floyd Mayweather, put him in Floyd Mayweather's shoes. So everyone is looking at Floyd Mayweather and they're saying, oh, well, you know, Floyd Mayweather, he has flaws. Floyd Mayweather's been knocked out three times before, and he just got knocked out three fights ago against a fighter that he struggled against four times, Juan Manuel Marquez, and the fourth time he fought him, 
he got knocked out. So Floyd Mayweather fought Marquez four times and he struggled against Juan Marquez four times. Meanwhile, the Michael Jordan of the sport, Manny Pacquiao, he fought Marquez just one single time and beat him easy. And Marquez doesn't even want a rematch with Manny Pacquiao. But he would prefer to fight Floyd Mayweather four times because he believes he can beat Floyd Mayweather. He knows he can't beat Manny Pacquiao because it wasn't even close the first time, right? So with you guys knowing all this, on top of all of, all of that inside of the ring, let's look at what's going on financially. Manny Pacquiao is dominating the pay-per-views in the sport. He's the pay-per-view king. In fact, no other fighter is even close, coming close to Manny Pacquiao's numbers, okay? Manny Pacquiao is the highest paid athlete in all sports. When Manny Pacquiao fights the boxing world, they all tune in, right? Floyd Mayweather, he's over here getting 10 million, 12 million. He gets 20 million, but he got to split that with Bob Arum and Freddie Roach and, and everyone else. And he's left with probably about $10 million afterwards, whatever the case may be. The point that I'm making, whatever the number is, he's not making anywhere near what the Michael Jordan, Manny Pacquiao is making, right? On top of that, once again, Floyd Mayweather just lost and got knocked out three fights ago against a guy that Manny Pacquiao beat easy. Now Manny Pacquiao, now, now Floyd Mayweather is saying, I want Manny Pacquiao. I want to fight against Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao says, you know what? Okay. So they go into negotiations. Manny Pacquiao's people, they say, Floyd Mayweather, you just had your lowest pay-per-view numbers since you have been a pay-per-view attraction. You made this amount of money. Look how much money I made, Floyd Mayweather. So this is what I'm going to give you. You say you want to fight me, right? You say you want to take that spot of being the best? This is what I'm going to give you. Take it or leave it. Now let me ask you guys. In a scenario like that, who would have more to lose if they walk away from the fight? Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao? I can guarantee you if the roles were reversed, all of you fans would say, obviously, Floyd Mayweather has more to lose because Manny Pacquiao is already considered the best. He's already considered the Michael Jordan of the sport. Not, not Floyd Mayweather. Manny Pacquiao is, right? So now we switch back to reality. The real Michael Jordan is Floyd Mayweather right according to trainers like nacho berestein and others so who has more to lose now guys you know just like i know if the roles were reversed nobody and i mean nobody would be saying that manny pacquiao needs to fight floyd mayweather or else his legacy is in jeopardy i mean hell Andre Ward is pound for pound number two or number three, one of the best fighters in the world. And Golovkin fans don't even want Golovkin to fight him. <laughs> and Ward is, is ranked higher than he is, right? Leo Santa Cruz, a lot of fans, they don't want to see Leo Santa Cruz fight against Guillermo Rigo because they believe he will lose. Just like a lot of fans believe Golovkin will lose to Andre Ward. These fans, they don't want to see their own favorite fighters fight the best pound for pound champions available. So do you think these same fans would like to see or would be demanding their fighter, Manny Pacquiao, to fight Floyd Mayweather if the roles were reversed? Come on, man. We know what time it is. Like I said, when, jo when Johnny Gonzalez had just got the belt, these same hypocritical fans, they said they opposed um, Gary Russell, who was supposed to be Johnny Gonzalez's mandatory. They opposed that Johnny Gonzalez gets an opportunity to fight 
against Johnny Gonzalez. They say he didn't deserve it. He didn't do enough, so on and so forth. So everything that I'm telling you, you know, we've already seen how it plays out when the roles are reversed. Okay? These are facts. We've seen it already. So when you have the Fox News Skip Baylesses of the boxing world like Dan Raphael and Jim Lampley trying to basically accuse Floyd Mayweather of suppressing negotiations while Bob Arum is too busy building imaginary arenas in Las Vegas and everybody on Manny Pacquiao's team is pointing the finger at either Bob Arum or Michael Kantz. Let's just say we know what time it is. It's just a hell of a coincidence. I'm on to the next one.